Hello students, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and today we are here not to discuss uh, English grammar, rather our discussion today will be very much different. Na? Hmm. What are you going to discuss today? We are going to discuss prime factorization. Prime factorization. So actually, Inakshi had a question in his uh, syllabus, in her syllabus there is a prime factorization and uh, she wanted to learn it and uh, when we have decided that we will learn prime factorization uh, I thought why shouldn't we share it with all our friends and our subscribers so that if uh, anyone need this to learn uh, they can very easily learn it so let's begin our prime factorization so when we begin prime factorization it's uh, better to tell you some points and the first of them prime factorization what is it it's very simple now mm. prime means it's related to prime numbers and factorization we have already learned that when a number is uh, produced as a product of some other numbers we call it factorization uh, suppose uh, we have uh, four now if we write it down as 2 into 2 this is the factorization that means 4 is uh, here presented as the product of two different numbers if we get a uh, 15 we may produce it as 5 into 3 making it that 15 it is presented as the product of two numbers 5 into 3 mm. so this is uh, what we call factorization and then comes the second point that is prime factorization yes. so when these the factorizations are used only prime numbers so when a number a particular number is produced as what as the product of prime numbers only yes have you got it yes sir. when we produce it as a product of prime numbers only so this is actually the definition of uh, prime factorization but uh, don't go after definition just understand what is this okay so we present it as a product of what product of prime numbers uh, do you know prime numbers yes what are prime numbers? Any number which has only two factors that are the number itself or one is known as prime number. Yeah. So any number which has only two factors, the number itself and one, they are called the prime numbers. So here, if we consider this uh, only four, it is uh, found out as two into two. So here we can see two. This number, it has only two factors, two and one. one there's no other factors for this so this is a prime number there's another two this is also the same and now if we consider six it will be presented as two into three so here two is a prime number so is three three is also a prime number isn't it yes so we have factorized six into two and three and both are prime numbers so this is what we call prime factorization that's it you have found it now okay hmm? so when we have done this when we have found out the factorization there comes another question here we have very small numbers like six four so we have done it very easily we have found out their factors very easily and what will happen if we have greater numbers say we have 200 suppose uh, we have here 236 now i have asked you to factorize this into prime numbers how will you do this obviously the the method that we have done like 6 like 4 like 10 that won't work we have to find out some some easier methods because the number can uh, be it's not three digit it can be several digits it can be 10 digits, 20 digits, 100 digits, that, that doesn't matter. So here we have to find out some method with which will work here. Can I explain? Yeah. Here we use divisibility rules. Now, what is this? 
Please. Okay, okay, okay. Look, so uh, there we have two rules to follow, na? So what rules or what method we can apply here? Rules or method, you may call it process as well. So we have some rules or some methods or some process, whatever you may call it. So here the first that we will uh, uh, talk of, we can use uh, only two rules. And the first of them is what? The first of them is? Divisibility. Mm. Divisibility method. And uh, so first write it down. It's divisibility. Divisibility method. And what is the second? Do you know it? Factor tree. It is the? factor tree so first it's divisibility method and the second is factor tree method so what is the divisibility method do you know it what is divisibility method yes okay tell me what is divisibility this divisibility method is used to find out the factors of very large numbers and it contains some numbers by which we can easily find out by which number we can do that okay so by divisibility method uh, we can um, factorize a very larger number that's it now okay and what is factor tree and factor tree is another type of uh, what can i say method that is uh, that looks somewhat like a tree yeah. So for divisibility method, the first point, this is this is the most important point that we will discuss here, divisibility. So for divisibility, we must learn one thing in particular. And what's that thing? The thing is you have to learn the rules of divisibility. This is the first thing you have to learn learn the rules of divisibility if you don't know the rules of divisibility you can't do this properly okay uh, so in she had already learned it we have already discussed uh, the lot of uh, she had already learned the rules of divisibility we had already discussed it so for the other students uh, you'd also have to learn this the rules of divisibility because without learning the rules of divisibility, you can't do anything in uh, this uh, divisibility method or this uh, factorization. So let's uh, begin the process how we do this. So here we'll begin our discussion with factor tree method first. Na? So the first method that we are going to discuss is factor tree method. Yes, dear friends, factor tree methods. Inakshi, is there tree? That means here we'll get something that will be like a tree. So it's our factor tree method. Hmm? Yes. So how factor tree methods, it works. Why we have called it factor tree method? Because here, we get the number and we produce it as a factor of two numbers. Okay. So it continues till we can't uh, make factor any further. That means we reach to a prime number. Hmm. Yes. So let it, uh, uh, let us do it with a very, very small number first. Suppose we have eight. Now we want to apply factor tree method here. So eight, we can produce it as 2 into 4 yeah. so uh, just uh, have a focus on it we have divided 2 into 2 factors 2 into 4 okay so how the rules of divisibility has been applied here this is something very much important first you have to look at the number and then you have to find out what is the least possible prime number with which it can be divided because we are here to find out the prime factors now 
So it's prime factorization. We have to find out the prime factors. So the first thing that you have to do to find out the least prime number with which it is divisible. So here when we have 8, well, consider. Tell me, can it be divisible by 2? 8. Yes. So what are the numbers which are divisible by 2? The numbers like 2, 4. No, what's the rules? The rules. If any number contains in the digits 2, 4, 6, 8 and 0 uh, or say 0, it is known as divisible. Ah, and 0 and 0 in which place? The ones. At ones place. So it will be divisible by 2. So when we have 8 in ones place, we have 8. So it will be divisible by 2. So this is the least possible number with which 8 can be divided. So we have uh, made the factor 2 into 4. Now, say, now the same thing will be applied here as well. 4. This is again divisible by which number? Which least possible prime number? Now. 4. How will we factorize it? We can factorize it in. Tell me. How will we factorize it? With least two into, possible? 2 into 2. Yeah. 2 into 2. So finally we have got here 2. Can we divide 2 any further? No. It can't because uh, uh, it can't be divided because uh, 2 is itself a prime number. So now here you have to look at the what? The products we yes. got. 2, 2, 2. 2. So all these are prime numbers. Yes. Doesn't it look like a tree? Yes. That's why it's called factor tree method. Factor tree method because it looks like a tree. That's it. So here, if we consider what is the factorization, primary factorization of it, prime numbers of factorized uh, of 8 is 2, two into, into, two, two, into two. 2 into 2. That's it. That's how we can find it out very easily. So this is uh, something we have tried with a very, very simple number. Now uh, we have to make the things a bit complex. Okay. So let's try to find out some other numbers, uh, some longer numbers which we can use here to find out the factors. Uh, what number we should take? Uh, 24. 24. Okay. okay. That's it. Take 24. Now tell me, uh, how will we divide it? You will always get two legs, huh? Only two legs you will get. Always, whatever you write, you have to divide it into two legs. It contains four at the once digits place. Yeah. And so it is divisible by two. It's divisible by two. So two, and what you will get here? 12. Two 12s are 24, so you'll get 12. Now we'll divide what? Which number will uh, then divide? 12. 12. Now it's time for us to factorize 12. Now what we will get by factorizing 12? Um, if we factorize 12, we'll get 6 into 6. The 6 into 2. 2 into 6. That's it. 2 into 6. Now which number will factorize? Now 6. Now 6. Again, we will find 2 legs for this. Yes. Now uh, tell me what we will get here. Here we will get 3 into 3. What we will get here? 6. Apply the rules of divisibility, which is the least possible number to divide 6. The least possible number the can be 2. 2. So what we will get here? 2 into? 2 into 6. I'm sorry. 2 into 6. 3. 2 into 3. So we got 2, 2, 2 and 3. So here the prime factors just we have to uh, put the answer here. Prime factors for 24 is 2 into 2.
2 into 2 into 3. That's it. So finally, we have learned the factor tree method for what? For the factor tree method for what? Tell me. For the rules of density. Factor tree method to find out the prime factorization. So here we have used the factor tree method for prime factorization. But uh, don't forget to write down the answer after you complete the factorization. Okay? Yes. So it looks like a tree. From there, we got this tree method and we are factorizing. So factor tree method. 24 is factorized as 12 and 2, that is 2 into 12. Again, 12 is factorized as 2 into 6. Again, 6 is factorized as 2 into 3. That's why it's factor tree method. Have you got it? Yes. So this is uh, what we have here. Now it's time for us to find out another method that we have to discuss. So let's find out what method, what's the second method that we'll discuss here. And the second one is division method. Yes, the second one is division method. So here also divisibility will be in use and we get here division method. Oh, so how it works? This is the first and foremost thing to learn how division method works. One thing in particular that you have to understand, when we are saying division, we have to divide things. Hmm? But it will look only a bit different. We will use division method, but here we will look only a bit different. So here we will go on dividing the number by using prime numbers applying the rules of divisibility. So here again the rules of divisibility will come into effect. So rules of divisibility will be applied here and we will find out what? We'll find out find the, the dividers hmm. and it will continue till the least possible prime number we get and it cannot be divided anymore. The same thing will be here as well. So how it works? Let's uh, have a very simple number 6. This is what we have taken and now we will use division method here. It's looking very different. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me what's the least possible prime number with which we can divide 6? 2. 2. So when we divide 6 with 2, what we will get? The result that we will get, what will we get? 6 divided by 2, we will get 3. 3. Now, what is the least possible number with which we can divide 3? Least possible number? Yeah, least possible prime number with which we can divide 3. I cannot find it. You get confused, na? 3 is itself a prime number. And yes. when 3 is itself a prime number, what are the factors for 3? Factors for the 3 is... 3 and 1? Yes. So... As 3 is a prime number, we can divide 3 only with 3 and we will get the result. What result we will get? 1. 1. Is it possible to divide 1? No. Obviously, it is possible. You may say 1 divided by 1 and you will get 1. Then again, you will get 1 divided by 1 and you will get another 1 and it will continue for infinite of times. Mm. That won't be of any use for us. Okay. So, we won't consider this part. Uh, it's better for us to mark it with a different color. Otherwise, uh, we'll get confused. So, our this part is not useful for us. Okay. What we have done, we have taken 6. Then, it is divided with 2. The prime number, we got 3. 
Again, it is divided by 3, the prime number, we get 1. And this is the end of our factorization because we have reached to such a number which cannot be factorized any further because why 1 is not a prime number. We have learned it now, 1 isn't a prime number. Yes. So after 1, we won't uh, make any division of it. So finally, we got the factors. So here 6 means what? 6, it means 2 into 3 into 1. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But you just don't need write 1 because we, every factor will get 1. Yes. So you don't need write it. Just put this, uh, these numbers and uh, we have the prime factorization of 6. Okay. Have you understood it? Okay. So we have done it with some very simple numbers. Now it's time for us to do it with uh, a bit complex numbers. No? Hmm? Only these simple numbers on 4. We have to do it with some complex numbers as well. So let's uh, find out some complex numbers and uh, do it. First change the color. White looks better. No? Hmm? The white chalk is better. The white pen looks better. Uh, we have many other colors also. We have here gray. It also, uh, how is it? Uh, how does it look with gray? It's looking nice now. It's not gray. Oh, it's white again. Oh, now what's about gray? Um, Which one is better, gray or white? White. White is better. Okay, let, let's then continue with white. So, division method. Uh, again, we will take. It's um, gray. Yeah? It's still gray. It's gray. It hasn't been changed into white. Oh, now I have changed it. So when we have uh, this uh, division method, um, <laughs> it's better for us to do what? Uh, oh, I want to erase it. Uh, now it has been erased. Uh, this is also somewhat uh, disturbing. So it's better that we erase this. Now, um, first make our boards clear. And uh, when we have talked so many things, have you forgotten? No. Have you forgotten division method? No. Probably, yes. No. Oh, you haven't forgotten. Okay, good. So let's uh, start the division method with, uh, with 36. Six. Let's do it. So 36, here what will be the prime least prime number possible to divide it 2 and what result we'll get we'll get 2 when it's divided by 36 yes we'll get we'll get 18 18 now again we have to divide 18 with which least possible prime again it comes 2 2 and what will you get 9 9 then we have to continue it till we get 1. Okay. So now? 3. 3. And what we will get? 3. And then? 1. What will be the number? 1. Hmm? Mm. If we divide it with 1, we will get 3. No, it's, it's not the number. 1. 3. You have to divide 3 with the same number. 3. The least possible number with which prime number with which 3 can be divided is 3. So we get 1. So what is the prime factorization, the prime factors of 36? So here we got the prime factors of 36. What are they? 2. Two into 2 into into 3 into 3 into 1 3 into 3 we just don't need to put 1 here because uh, 1 is obvious everywhere we will get 1 so finally we have learned prime factorization so how many rules we have learned two rules and what are they the first one is factor tree method and uh, second one is division method the first one is factor tree method and the second one is division method na? so be it factor tree method or division method whatever it might be 
we can use a very useful uh, method that we have to learn we have to remember what method i am talking of be it factor tree we have learned two methods factor tree methods and the second one is division method so be it factor tree or division which other rules that we have to remember and we have to prepare us for tell me divisibility rules of divisibility yes rules of let's write it in red rules of divisibility okay okay so inakshi have you understood have you learnt it yes can you do it yourself yes hmm? i mean so tell all your friends to learn rules of divisibility first and to remember it properly tell your friends please uh, learn this rules of divisibility and doing this practice would be easy for you so without remembering the rules of divisibility it's very difficult to deal with the prime factorization so that's all today from here this discussion yes do you have any question all the divisibility rules haven't been taught no all the rules of divisibility has to be remembered you know get it with different numbers uh, it will take much time and people don't uh, uh, continue the uh, continue observing the video okay we we'll discuss this if you want just tell them if you want the if you want to learn the rules of divisibility if you want a separate video for this because this is not very much tough it's very easy i know most of uh, my students are quite aware of this still if you want any clarification if you want another a separate video on rules of divisibility just write it down in the comment section and uh, will uh, obviously uh, again appear here with inakshi and will learn rules of divisibility together if you if you uh, actually uh, demand for it and if you already know the rules of divisibility divisibility you have to learn it by heart and remember them because it's very much useful it will be the key factor for your prime factorization so let's conclude here and tell everyone what have bye bye have a learning